Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, and today I want to talk about Pal World and Pokemon. Because I've been hearing that, like, Pal World is just Pokemon with guns, and from what I've seen, it's really not. Because when I think of Pokemon, it's like, okay, aesthetically, I see the similarities, obviously. But, like, gameplay-wise, Pokemon is this, like, monster-collecting, team-building, turn-based RPG. And, uh, Pal World has more in common with, like, Fortnite and Minecraft than it does Pokemon. So, what I want to do is take a second and actually tell you games that are actually like Pokemon. Those, like, monster-collecting, turn-based RPGs. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, here's the first one. So the first series here I want to talk about is the Dragon Quest Monsters Joker series. Um, there's quite a few games in this series. The first two are on the DS, the third one is on the 3DS, and there's a fourth one that just came out on Switch. It's called like the Dragon or the Dark Prince or something. Um, haven't played that one yet, but I do want to get around to it. Actually, I haven't played these two yet either. But I did complete the first one, and this is probably the most Pokemon-like game. Um, on the list basically um, you start out or at least the first one pretty much all of them is just you, you start out you get one of the Dragon Quest monsters that's kind of like the Pokemon in this game so all the monsters from Dragon Quest you uh, kind of catch them you build them in your team and you battle them I actually like these games a bit more than Pokemon mainly because they have more of like a traditional like RPG story to them but gameplay wise they are very similar to Pokemon. The only thing is like you don't get like evolutions in these games like the monsters don't like evolve but you can do some like monster combining to make new monsters so that, that's a little different but honestly I think these games are much better than Pokemon. I like having that like more traditional like save the world type of adventure story um, and honestly these, this series of games is kind of what I wish Pokemon would like evolve into. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. All right, next game I want to talk about is World of Final Fantasy. I have the Vita version of this game, mainly because I'm a big Vita collector. But this game is kind of similar to Dragon Quest Monsters Joker in the sense that um, instead of Pokemon, you're actually catching Final Fantasy monsters. So like Chocobos and Cactuars and Moogles. Things like that. Um, you basically fight them. You have the ability to like kind of capture them. And this game has kind of like a quirky, unique, kind of cutesy art style. And it actually plays into the um, combat because like you could either be like a chibi version of the characters or like a Kingdom Hearts looking version of your characters. And like you can stack the monsters on top of your head. It sounds a little ridiculous saying it out loud, but in gameplay it makes more sense. But again, this is one of those like team building, um, you basically catch the monsters you like, you uh, train them up, you basically make a team that you can use. And um, if you're a big fan of Final Fantasy, which I am, uh, this is a really cute game. And not a lot of people talk about this game, but it's pretty damn good. Um, it's on Vita, PlayStation 4, and they also have one on Switch. The Switch version actually has like bonus content added in this game. This is like the base version. So, um, yeah, definitely go check it out. Again, very Pokemon-like, uh, but with more of like an, a, a, almost like a Kingdom Hearts-esque um, type of story. It, it's really weird. I think this game's pretty cool, though. So, uh, if you like Pokemon, you'd probably like this game, too. Alright, and last series of games I want to talk about is the Digimon games. So, now Digimon's a little funny, not every single Digimon game is like a Pokemon game, but there are a few Digimon games that are like Pokemon. Uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is one of those games. So it plays like Pokemon, you actually um, catch Digimon, you can um, make your team, it's like three on three battles, uh, so that's pretty cool, so you have three Digimon fighting at the same time. Uh, and this is a really good game, like honestly, uh, out of probably all the games that I've talked about in this video, this one's probably the best and um, my favorite out of all of them. I'm a big Digimon fan too. So, again, plays very similar to Pokemon. What I like about uh, the Digimon games is um, the evolution trees aren't like a one-way path. Uh, in Digimon, you can move up, down, left, right. Your Digimon can digivolve into 
way more than like what Pokemon can. And you have like mobility through that evolution tree, which is really nice. So you can Digivolve or D-Digivolve back and then go to like something else or go back. Really cool system. And Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is a very good game. Has a really good story. Art, um, the character design was made by the guy that does the Persona art. Um, so it looks really good. And um, yeah, so Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is really good. There's also, I don't have cases for them, but Digimon World DS, Digimon World uh, Dusk and Dawn, all on the DS, those games play similar to Pokemon as well. So if I had the cases, I'd be holding them up now. But uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and the Digimon World games on the DS are very similar to Pokemon. So these, I think these are all great Pokemon alternatives. I think this one's the best one. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's on Switch, PS4. It's also on Vita. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway, guys, those are the games that I would say actually play like Pokemon. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that you don't get guns in them though. So that's unfortunate. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye. Later.